Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to access the external SD card folder, the SD card, micro SD card storage from your Android app. So let's begin. We we'll create a new project, empty activity. We'll name this uh, uh, SD card app. You can name this app anything. Click finish and wait for the environment to load. It may take a while depending on your environment. Yeah. So once the environment sets up, uh, what I will do is I will run this app. So I will start the emulator also in parallel on the right hand side. Let my emulator load. And first and foremost thing what I will do is I will define the permissions required by the user which is basically to access the uh, external read and write external storage. So yeah, read and also the write external storage. Although I don't think I will need write but nevertheless. Yeah, I think emulator is loading up. I'll just minimize it once again. I'll minimize this left hand left hand side also. I don't need the uh, yeah, browser the explorer on the left hand side navigation. Now what I'll do is uh, in this uh, on create method first and foremost thing I'll just request a permission. No, not main except I should have activity compare request permission for the two. Permissions which we are defined in the manifest file will just quickly ask permission from the user and the first per permission could be manifest dot permission dot read external storage the second could be manifest dot permission dot like yeah these are the two which we defined and then the last argument will be package manager permission grant yeah so this line will be responsible to get the permission from the user to access the storage i'll again minimize i don't know uh, I, I don't need the emulator right now and uh, in the layout i'll just quickly put a button which will trigger my method and i can name this button as uh, sd card sdk sd card file yeah Perfect. So I'll just check whether a file exists or not uh, in the uh, external storage in the SD card. So probably what I can do is I can also quickly bring back the emulator and show you. So this is my app. But if I go to the files and over here, if I go to the okay, so you should go to this SD card option. Of course, in your real phone also there will be something. And I've already uh, kept one file uh, which I'll check in my code whether this file exists or not. And so yeah, so this file is what we use for our testing purpose. And if I notice, this is the uh, path or name of the file: image hd underscore card dot jpeg. Okay, like so I probably can keep it as it is on the right hand side. And now, in the my development, what I'll do is in this text view is where I'll print the my final results. So I'll just give it as a text view as my ID and and I'll also increase the size of this text up to a little bit. It's still, it is right now 14. I'll make it probably say 20 so it's visible and I'll make it a little bigger. Yeah, that's all. Now I'll quickly go to my Java code. Okay. And in the Java code, I will create a method public void and button SD card. You can name this method anything again, it doesn't matter. And I'll just associate this button uh, with the on click attribute of my uh, in this method with the on click attribute of this button in my layout. So if I go here and scroll down, I'll get this. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now coming back uh, to my Java code, what I'll do is I'll first create a class variable private no, text view. Text view, text view, find view by id, r dot id dot text view, and we'll be using this text view to print our uh, whatever the results is you want to print. Now, in this uh, method, first and foremost, what I'll do is I'll define a storage manager, get system service, a storage service is what we need, and it will ask me to cache, so just do it. 
and then we can get the so this will have a list of all the storage volumes which are there in my uh, device so i should try to uh, get the list of all the storage volumes so that what we, i can do i can just do get storage volumes and it will return me the all the storage volumes perfect now from here what i'll do is i'll pull out the storage volume which is relevant to the sd card so here we have to do a indexing so one is for sd card i will okay, i'll put in comment one is for external sd card for internal uh, memory if you are wondering so zero is for internal memory so in okay i think the spelling is wrong yeah so in the device what it what it means is if i go here so this hd card if i have to access no sorry about that i don't know why it got closed again okay so yeah so if you have to access this hd card which is an external uh, memory external uh, yeah uh, uh, card which we insert in our device in our phone then we have to use one if we have to access something internal which is at this location uh, which is the internal memory of the phone then we should use zero over here so yeah but in this uh, code i am i will focus on sd card so uh, sd card so i'll keep it one here perfect now i will what i'll do is i'll try to create a file variable new file probably I'll name this variable is file sd card and uh, new file and here i will use the storage volume get directory get paths so this will give me the path at this level and after this if the file is at this level i can directly use it if it's within any of the subfolders we have to insert the subfolder also we have to code that but since our file is at this level i'll just directly use the file name over here so what is our file name if i go back to my file my file name is image hd underscore card dot jpeg so that's what i will uh, do it okay and image sd card dot jpg be careful with the name it's, it's case sensitive i think yeah okay so once there then what i can do is quickly in an if else condition i can check if it exists then what i can do is i can print in my text use set text um, file exist and probably i can print the this also uh, the path the complete path of the file to stream perfect and if it doesn't exist okay what i'll do is i'll just copy paste this line control c else if it does not exist then i'll just say file does not exist yeah and of course i'll uh, i'll print whatever the path at line 41 is trying to get that i'll print so that's all i'll read on my code and see how it comes up i'm not i'm keeping the code very simple because my focus is just to tell you how to uh, get the uh, access to the external storage which is this one index is critical here okay allow i know if i click here file exists perfect and it gives a path of the complete file uh, the complete path of the file so we can see i mean this is same as what okay so what i can do is even i will do a, a negative negative test so i'll just change the file name to one uh, which definitely it does not exist so i'll quickly read on it and see what the output i get i'm expecting it to throw that does not exist because that file perfect so that's what i was ex expecting does not okay and ot i don't know why yeah o could also have been capital but nevertheless file does not exist and it gives the uh, complete path of my uh, uh, the string of the path which is being drafted in the code perfect so i'll just change it back to probably the initial one the correct file name and yeah i'll leave it as it is and i'll also once quickly i'll just go back to the my folder to see so here if you see uh, the path is of course uh, this one afc uh, this this number is the uh, unique id of the sd card and then the file name is coming over there so if i toggle between the app and this one so that's what i'm getting 
a storage slash this unique uh, identifier of my SD card and then the uh, file name perfect so that's all I just wanted to show you it's pretty easy to access the external storage path as well using this storage manager you can just use the index one over here in the get and that will give and, and yeah uh, just to clarify zero can be used for internal memory so that's all I wanted to show you uh, in this uh, small video if uh, yeah, if you have any questions or suggestions with respect to this uh, video then please uh, put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and have a nice day bye